welcome. All right. What's up? Welcome to the Coffee Bean Experience. Dave back here. Dave back here. What is that? What kind of intro is that? I don't know. Anyway, okay. I'm Dave. I'm Zaza. Yeah. Zay. So we're glad to be with you tonight. We thought we would just... Um, by the way, how are you doing? Doing all right. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You doing okay? Yeah. Um, Let's see. We, what, what? Nothing going on in your life? Pretty bored. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what happens when you're uh, when you have complications with your phone, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, even with the phone, <laughs> it's still boring. I'd like to like get an yeah. activity going. I don't know. I like to train. I'd like to start training again. Soccer training. Yeah. Yeah. That was always something for me to do. Yeah. Um, where are you at with your PT? What do you mean? Well, how far are you away from being able to train? I asked her on Friday, and she said I'm still a couple weeks away. Oh, a couple pretty weeks. Close. Right on. Isn't it funny how you could just, you know, when you're looking, when you you know how you keep wanting to stare at me like this to talk to me? You just look at me in the screen, bro. I know, but I can also See, you're trying to stare at me right now when you should just be looking right there. Yeah, I know. It's too hard to keep your mi- mouth in the microphone if you're trying to stare to the left and right. so hey bro so i hear we have one of your friends that wants to uh yeah matt jump on so we might so have you tried to test skype colin i haven't yet yeah i just think we do the microphone with the with the um speaker yeah why not and call him yeah why not because we didn't even see how that sounded. Well, haven't you checked those yet? No. Dude, you got to get on it. We got episodes to post here. <laughs> I know. I'm lazy. You're telling me we didn't record any last week. You haven't even got up the... I'm on so lazy. Okay? Bro. Quarantine is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sit on your butt all day. It's no good. Are hey, you still do- out. Are you still doing pretty good on your schoolwork? Yes, I am. You better be, bro. I'm going to... Your butt's going to just be... <laughs> School's pretty nice right now. It's pretty easy. Oh it's almost word. over too. Oh my god! We word. have like two more weeks left, I think. That's crazy. All right. So anyway, well, it's good to hear. They should have graduated us. It's just yeah. Anyways, good. It's good to be back with you guys. It's always good to come on the show and um, offer you guys a little bit of entertainment and break from your reality, whatever that is. So tonight, I just thought we'd get into a little bit of um, what we call macro uh, politics, kind of like you have macroeconomics. You have macro politics. And so I just wanted to kind of, one, I'm going to quiz Isaiah on a bunch of things about politics. Okay. I also want to note, I haven't taken my, I haven't gotten my world, my U.S. history credit yet. So I have to take that <laughs> sophomore year in civics. So, so you're basically saying you're dumb. I'm not saying that. I'm saying <laughs> I'm not educated in the U.S. history. In the history of the U.S., it would be better to phrase it. So that's that's this that's is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be all Dave talking so, as usual. Whatever, bro. So I'm asking <laughs> you some questions. <laughs> <laughs> so what is um what is the major forms of government in the world? Do you know? Major forms you told of me government. A lot. There's um democracy. There's a democracies. There's demo- democracies. Demo- there's democracies. Yep. democracies yep. And there's dictatorships. Dictatorships. There's, yep. What um, else? Why am I forgetting? Dictatorships. And there's a, th- a totalitarian. There's authoritarian. Not authority. Well, authoritarian's a leadership style, but not really a style of y- yeah, government. Yeah, that's true. But um, totalitarianisms. There's totalitarian. T- t- totalitarianisms. That's all I got, yes. Chief. That's all I got. What about? You don't know. Like you started because you're naming a couple different. You're naming a couple different well, like stratospheres or cl- categories of 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 governments because you mm-hmm. went to democracy, then you went to dictatorships, which those aren't those terms aren't really used. So they're not really synonyms. They're well, they're not similar. They're not used in the same way. If you're going to talk about democracy, you don't usually talk compare it to. A totalitarian totalitarianism unless you're talking about a certain type of totalitarianism mm-hmm. which do you know like what if you just think of terms of in terms of like a democracy do you know the other forms of government related to democracy 
One starts with a S, one starts with a C. Socialism. There you go. And communism. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why I'm struggling with this. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> socialism, uh, communism for sure is a form of totalitarianism. Mm -hmm. um, and and then and socialism it really is too. But um, And then of course you have dictatorships, which is another form of totalitarianism. So um, anyway... So just in, in our modern world today, you have um, democracies, communists, communism, you have socialism. You still have dictatorships out there, which oftentimes take the form of communism, right? Right. Like really Vladimir Putin, Putin in Russia is really a dictator. I mean, he, yeah. they have a pretend democracy but he's, I mean, like, you know, he wins every election by a landslide. You know, it's insane. So, um, you look so tense, bro. Like, lo loosen up. Do I? Yeah. You want to switch seats? No, I'm good. You look like you're like. Do I look like I'm. Huh? What? I'm just trying to keep in the microphone, dude. My name is. Yeah. Plus, posture's good. Good posture's. Oh! Yeah, posture's yeah. very important. So. Um, anyway, so so basically, what is the difference between uh, communism and socialism? Do you know? Com oh, communism is just more severe socialism. Mm. Um, kind of, um, not really. <laughs> um, um, hey, here we uh, here. Can we do a shout out to different brands? Um, I have. Are you a Coca Cola or Pepsi person? Coke or what if I drop this on your laptop, bro? Did you buy me a new laptop? <sighs> mm. Really bad time to do. I'm more of a Coke, but I'll drink Pepsi. What are you? I like Coke more. I, I like Mountain Dew better though. Like no, 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 no. You don't get to go Mountain Dew. You Mountain have to, Dew's owned by if you're Pepsi. Gonna, you know, that's not the point. If you're going to talk about Mountain Dew, it's then you Coke have to though. talk about Mellow Yellow. Coke has, for me, Coke has better things. No, but, no, no, okay. no, no, no. No, you got to compare soda to soda. If you're going to talk Mountain Dew, you got to talk about Mellow Yellow. If you're going to talk about Coke, you talk about Pepsi. If you're going to talk about Dr. Pepper, I you talk about Coke, Mr. Pibb. Coke over Pepsi. But Coke over as, Pepsi, orga okay. as organizations, I think Coke has more. Okay, that's which, a different which, debate. That's a different everyone debate. Everyone has Dr. Pepper I'd go with. But Dr. Pepper is a free agent, so. Is no, is it, I thought it's ran by Pepsi. Mm -hmm. It's not owned by anything. No, it is too ran no, by it's Pepsi. it's not. Look it up. It's the only um, soda company produced by itself as an independent. Weird. Actually, no, it's produced by both. You, fun fact. You look oh, that's that. right. That's true. I've read yeah. that. Okay, thing. going back to um, you kind of struck out on socialism, communism. Yeah. You just go ahead take it away. No, come on, man. Guess a, um, guess a little bit. Communism. I'm forgetting. Um, com, com, <laughs> so one of the main differences is the who has control over the resources like energy um water natural resources and power that kind of thing power as in like electricity you know not power as in authoritarian power mm -hmm. but power as in actual infrastructure power gotcha. like electricity yeah. Water utilities. So what? What do you think? What I kind of gave you a big tip on what socialism is, and versus oh, com communism. Oh, it's control of like. It's control of like. Um, well, how about this? Is, communism is, is control of supplies. Dude, I'm, I'm spacing so hard. How about this? If you had to just guess, think of socialism and communism. What do you think is more? where is what has more freedom socialism or communism socialism. socialism so so if if socialism has more freedom what areas of of life could you be more free in than say if you're just talking about wait communism communism is where the state is glorified over the individual right oh for sure definitely or is that fascism? Well, f communism is a type of fascism. Yeah, but I'm... You're getting your terms mixed up with yeah. totalitarianism versus fascism. 
communism, socialism, democracy all fall under either totalitarianism or fascism. Actually, democracy doesn't fall under either of those. Mm -hmm. But um, so anyway, socialism basically is really simple, bro. It's the government controls the means of production and and oh, and, right, and right, resources right, 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 right. for the collective so so that so that it's there's more equity and fairness in like price of electricity mm -hmm. um wages that kind of thing Com communism is is total control of everything your religion your uh like means china. of production like yeah china. china and russia actually is still a communism i mean for all into, it's a dictatorship but um it, i guess it's not really a communism anymore but it's a dictatorship for sure i mean putin is definitely has his thumb on the whole the whole country but yeah china basically in communism everything is controlled by the government your business the internet the news um means of production uh wages energy um it like, literally so it, like everything korea. is contr north korea and china and cuba technically i still think is a communism and uh no venezuela is more of, Ven venezuela is more of a socialism socialism in socialism you have a lot of freedom actually but just things like um the like uh met, met, like your your um uh, your healthcare and means of productions and so taxes resources are taxes are oh well in communism they totally control your wages they decide wages of each person mm -hmm. in socialism taxes are very high so so in communism it's not just taxes are high your your paycheck is given from the government in socialism your paycheck might come from a corporation there's still corporations but in communism, your paycheck comes from the government. It comes from the, you know, so in China, your check comes from the Chinese government. But in socialism, you might be employed by a private corporation. There's still private corporations that get a control there. It's more of a capitalistic, right? Like no, ideology. no, no. It's not capitalistic. No, it's in between communism and, and capitalism. Mm. Um, yeah, I, guess, I guess you could say it's a form of a very strict, controlled form of, social, of capitalism. Um, but... I'll, Anyway, so what is so uh, so what percentage of people in America do you think under the age of 30 are okay with a socialist type society? I would guess probably like 7%. I bet you you're close. I don't actually know. I was just wondering what you thought or if you oh, knew. I know it's high cuz I know people in our school I know are like Gen Z years like your age and stuff and into the 20s. Are taught to hate capitalism. Yeah, I mean I I know that a high percentage of current younger generation Americans are they but did you know like there was even a recent study I saw that a good percentage of of your age and and in into the 20s, early 20s. Mm -hmm. You know what many a good percentage of of you guys thought socialism was? What? A government form that had to do with social media. <laughs> I'm not lying. Oh, oh! Some people think socialism is like socializing. Yeah. 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 It's kind of depressing. We're social. So we're socializing right now. Socialism. Yeah. Socialism. So, what form of government are we in the United States? We're capitalist. Ca capitalist. Capitalism, capitalism is a form of econom economy. That's not a government system. Okay, then we're probably a democracy. Yeah, we're a democracy. We are yeah. a form of democracy. We are called a democratic republic. I've heard that. Yeah, and the reason a true democracy literally means every single citizen's vote counts for everything. So everything's decided in a true democracy, a pure democracy, your vote, every citizen's vote would be... Huge. Would decide, well, not just huge. It would decide every issue. That's now, how it should be. I think that's how it should be. Well, no, it's no, it's not because do you know what major, uh, do you know what major component in our form of government makes politics. us a republic? Isn't it politics? Politics, buddy, is the discussion of political matters. Mm -hmm. How would that? How would that be a component of that makes us a republic versus a true democracy? Um. In a republic, there's representatives mm -hmm. that go represent different delegations or different constituents. Mm -hmm. They go to a central government 
whether state or federal, and they, they represent the citizens that elected them. That's a republic. Mm -hmm. But there's also another key element of our form of government that makes us a republic versus a true democracy. because we have president? No. It's, it's the body that decides the president. Did you know the body that decides the president? It's the judicial court? No, judicial, dude. We're going to talk um, about three main branches of um, our government. Jud judicial is one of the three main branches. Okay, go ahead. No, no. Have you heard of the elect? Like electoral colleges. Electoral mm -hmm. college, not colleges. There's only one electoral college. Mm -hmm. The electoral college is actually a group of citizens that are split between the two major parties, Republican and Democrats. And they actually did. It's their vote that actually decides the president, not ours. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's why Trump won. Yeah. He won the electoral college, but Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. This is why you don't want a true democracy, Isaiah. Because if it was a true democracy, do you know what parts of our country would control like the presidential election? The popular votes? The, yeah, okay. If the popular vote controls, if we really went by a true popular vote, what parts of our nation would... The more populated areas. The more populated areas. And what do those areas tend to be politically? Liberal. Liberal. Democratic. So... De and then would candidates really have to go around the whole nation and try to win the whole nation okay. or where would they focus their time on the popular areas. on the populated areas new york california los angeles hey, if you ain't black you ain't voting for biden dude can't believe he said that dude he's literally racist well he is racist but that's another issue he actually is racist he said so many racist and things black people are talking mm -hmm. yeah i know i think black people are going to wake up though i hope they do yeah. But anyway, let's go back to our form of government. So we are a democratic republic. We don't have true democratic vote on everything. Some things we do, like our local bills, yeah. like a local initiatives at our state level. My vote, actually, your vote, well, when you're 18, will will actually affect different bills and initiatives. So that's the democratic part. But the republic part is because we have representatives, like the Senate, House of Representatives, and then we also have an electoral college that really chooses our president. Yeah. Now, some states have laws that require their electoral college representatives to vote according to the popular vote. Some states don't. Some states, the electoral college I members. The more liberal states. I don't know if there's any correlation Probably there California. between. I don't know. I don't know if there's any correlation. I don't know about that. But I do know this that in some states, the electoral college can vote any way they want to, regardless of popular vote. Now, think mm. about that one. Riddle me that one, Batman. <laughs> So anyway, now let's talk about, so we are a democratic republic. We are founded on what? What document are we founded oh, on? Oh, the um, Constitution. United States Constitution. Ding, ding, ding. See, Isaiah, you know more than you think. I know a little bit. So we are a constitutional republic, democratic republic. It, the con U.S. Constitution, one of the only nations in the world to actually have a constitution that is our guiding document that yeah. defines our Bill of Rights. It defines certain freedoms and rights that we have as citizens, uh, like due process. Um, and so what are the three major branches of the United States government? The judicial court. Yeah, yeah, yeah ju not judicial court, just the judiciary, the judiciary. The judicial branch. Do, 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 you go, go ahead. I got no. It. Not, it's not going to come to me. Just think. Me. Don't. It's not that complicated, bro. Judicial think of power. the big parts of our government that make decide, make decisions. Judicial. Um, so Supreme Court, U.S. Supreme Court, mm -hmm. and all the federal judges, appellate judges, all that. Supreme Court. Then there's the... Um, what are the other people that make the, decisions, bro? There's the, What's the other... Uh, okay, think of the main one, bro. You haven't even thought of the main one. State. The main dude you support or vote for every four years. I'm, I'm forgetting. You're, you're, you're. Who's the main dude of this of the of the who represents the United the, States? Uh, the president. President, and he's in charge of the exec executive executive branch, not executives. <laughs> you're always so close, bro, but then you're so far. Well, you're, you're freaking me out, dude. It's um, the exe so there's judicial branch, the executive branch, and then there's the. Nope. The House of Representatives are part of the legislative branch. Right. So this is very important for people to understand. And I love the fact that people, that we have an audience across the world, because I would love to have their comments. And again, you can email us at the coffee bean experience at gmail.com. And, uh, and our YouTube channel, you can chat, you can put comments and please, um, let us know. And are you, I hope you're looking at those. Are you? Is that, no? You are. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, give us your comments because I would love to learn more about where you live and your local, like, are you in a parliamentary system? Are you in a democracy? Are you in a socialism? You know, what What kind of different governments do you guys live in? Um, but this is the important, this is important part about United States government. This is what makes America so amazing is, is the constitution, the design of our government. Um, it's not necessarily capitalism. Capitalism is just the economy that we follow, the economic means for generating, creating value and revenue. But this is the beauty of our, of our system is each of those three branches is one more powerful than the other one, Isaiah. No. Each branch is what? Equal. Equal, but separate. Mm-hmm. And they each have a different function. Yeah. So d- what if, if you had to take a guess out of the three branches, judiciary, executive, executive. or legislative, which one makes law? Actually wait, wait, makes wait. law. So there's the judiciary. There's the judiciary. Executive or, and the, le- the executive the, and the, the legislative. Legis- the legislative. The legislative, that's the uh, Latin of the, the same Latin root word, legislative and law and legal all come from the same Latin. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the legislative, the Senate and the House of Representatives, those two houses of our legislative legislation, branch. legislative branch, those make law. So this is the problem when one of the branches gets out of line. D- currently in our nation, who, what branch is out of line and thinks they make law? The House of Representatives. No, they are part of legislation. They make law. Oh, oh. Um, We're talking about the three brain branches: executive, judiciary, or legislative. The judiciary. No. The judiciary and the executive branch. Obama issued so many dang executive orders to usurp and go around to circumvent our legislation. It's not the president or the judiciary. It is not the U.S. Supreme Court. Or the president that gets to make law in the United States. Who makes law in the United States? The legislative. The House of Representatives and the Senate work together to make law. The president works within that law. And the judiciary is just supposed to interpret the law. They're supposed to say, hey, is that case like, like just take racism, for example. But if it wasn't, if it was not in law, in our constitution, in, in, in our legislation, that racism is illegal then it's allowed the judiciary doesn't get to say oh racism is evil that that judiciary doesn't get to decide right and wrong the judiciary is ju- the judiciary is just supposed to interpret our dang laws and right now we have a, a rogue judiciary branch in the united states they keep tr- like voiding laws and throwing laws out they don't get to do that they just they're, they're just supposed to enforce and interpret the law and make sure that all citizens and, and corporations and, and, and government officials abide by the law that the legislation approved. If you don't like the law, the citizenry is supposed to change the law or change, or well, actually can't change the law. What does the citizenry do, Isaiah? If they don't like the laws that the House, the representatives and the senators are passing, what does the citizenry have the right to do? Um, protest? Uh, not just protest. Yes, protest. But civil di- uh, civil disobedience, yes. Mm-hmm. But even more important than protest, what do we do every two years or four years? or To vote? We vote. We get a vote in our representatives. And if our representatives aren't making good law, then we kick them out by our vote. That's what we're supposed to do, Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Now, we can pr- pick it and protest and... It should be all civil. It should be within the confines of the law. You know, we we can pick it and you know protest yeah. and you know social media, Twitter, you know, t- tweet and all that, emails and whatever, blogs, vo- vlogs, whatever. Like right now, we have a radio show. We talk about different political issues. Mm-hmm. But this is important, my ladies and gentlemen, especially for you, United States citizens, or even those immigrants wanting to be a citizen. We must know more about our Constitution. We must read more about our Bill of Rights. We must know about the form of government that we live in and live under, the three branches of the United States government, what each of their functions is, and how it's so important that each of those branches operates within the confines of how our founding fathers designed and how the Constitution designs. Yeah. 
So I hope you guys learned a little bit about U.S. government, civics. Um, by the way, that, that actually trickles down to state governments actually have the same kind of setup in the United States where there's a governor, there's a, there's a House of Representatives, which legislation, and there's actually state judiciary. There's judges and that, that again, but each of those branches has a function and they're supposed to abide by the confines of that function and they're supposed to, above all, keep the constitution forefront. They're supposed to, did you know each legislator, Senate, House of Representatives, president, uh, even the judiciary, they make a pledge, a promise to uphold the constitution. Did you know that, Isaiah? It's sad. Yeah. It's actually, that's not sad that they make a pledge. It's sad what they're doing. It's sad that they're not upholding they're, the constitution. Yeah. And, and states have a constitution. Did you know that? I believe it. States have a constitution and there's United States constitution. Mm-hmm but neither gets to trump the other. They both have to work in harmony. So, so then how's California? Mm-hmm. How's California what? Allow so many illegal immigrants? Mm, all the above. Well, and crazy debt and like yeah. all the, because they're, because one, the uh, citizenry is not holding them accountable. They keep electing idiots. Mm-hmm. That's the, where it starts. It starts with us, our citizenry yeah. and being informed, informed and educated and, and voting according yeah. to, you know, so anyway, um, I mean, states get away with what they wait with with what they can get away with because cis, citizenry doesn't hold them accountable. For sure, for sure. But anyway, any thoughts? Closing thoughts, Isaiah? No, no, no. no I think we it's good to have one of these episodes every once in a while. I think it's good for, to educate people. Yeah, dude. Hmm? You have no thoughts at all about any of that. No, I just think it's important. It's a good history lesson. It's a good lesson in general. What did you take away from our little talk today? That it's imperative that we keep in mind what each branch is for. Um, that the president doesn't get to just make laws. Nope. And they have to abide by them. And he the has president to, has to abide by them too. Yeah, and he has to work with them. Yeah. Regardless who it is, Trump, a Democrat, or Republican, yep. Obama, or Hillary, yep. Bernie, or freaking Biden whoever yep. it is and yeah yep. mm. alright man well we hope you guys go do a little civics yourself go learn about your own government if you live in another country mm. or if you're a United States citizen mm. or a immigrant in United States legal or illegal um, immigrant you learn about the country you live in and try to embrace that and work within the system that we have and so um, that's our little um civics 101 lesson for uh, this coffee bean experience so with that said thanks for joining us for the coffee bean experience my name is Dave my name is Jose. and That's we'll see you soon we'll see you in, in, the, in the coffee shop we'll eventually. see you in the neighborhood coffee shop <laughs>